Hello and welcome to Sample for Schools Pig Trotter Dissection. This dissection we're going to use to display how the muscular system works with the skeletal system by looking at the joints we can find in the pig's trotter. When you receive your sample, a good tip is to blanch it briefly in some hot water. This can soften the skin and make the tissues easier to dissect. When we look at the end of the trotter that would have been connected to the leg, we can see a number of different tissues. So I can identify the hard structure as the bone. It often looks pink and shiny on the surface. The ligaments, the pearly white connective tissue that holds bone with other bone. And up here, a tendon. And the job of the tendon is to attach the muscle to the bone. If I turn the sample around, we can demonstrate holding the tendon. And if we are to pull it, the effect it has on moving the muscles in the trotter of the pig. In order for our skeleton to have easy movement, our bones are connected by joints. And these enable our limbs to have flexibility. The pig's trotter joints are an example of synovial joints, much like the joints that we have in our knuckles. To explore the tendons and the joints more, we can make an incision down through the skin. You want to cut with a sharp scalpel approximately one millimetre deep. Checking not to cut too much through because we want to keep the tendons underneath intact. If you make a second cut horizontally, you can then peel back the skin to reveal the joints and the tendons. Once you have removed the skin, you can see the tendons lining across the joint on the surface. We can cut a little bit deeper to free up those tendons. And you can see the very tough connective fibre that they are, and how again if we tug, they move the lower bones in the ankle. There are four tendons that cross down across the top of this joint. Underneath this tendon, if we lift it back, we can see a much firmer structure. And that's our synovial joint. Much like the knuckle in your hand, we can see if we bend the toes, there's slight movement in that joint. We can now use a scalpel to cut through the tendons and across to reveal that joint. Once we've cut through the tendons running across the top of the joints, we can peel them back and see how they are attached to the muscle and how the muscle is connected to the bone with these tendons. Underneath there, we reveal the joints. At this point, we can identify the pink shiny bone the white cartilage that protects the bone and inside the joints, when you make your cut, you may notice a little bit of fluid oozing out. That's the synovial fluid. If you turn your sample upside down, you can make another incision underneath and see the tendons and the joint for the smaller digits. 
So this dissection offers a great opportunity to explore the differences in texture between muscle, tendons and bone and how this relates to function. For more information, including lesson plans and risk assessments, visit our website www.samplesforschools.co.uk.